Do you need to hang curtains in your home, but you're not sure how to do it? If so, you've picked the right video, so let's get right to it. The first thing that you need to do is measure the width of your window. Once you have that, you need to determine how far beyond your window you want to hang your hardware for your curtain rod. Usually it's recommended that you go somewhere between 4 and 6 inches beyond the edge of your window, or if you have trim around your window, beyond the edge of your window trim. But once you figure that number out, double it because you have two sides of your window. Add that to your window width, and now you have the length of the curtain rod that you're going to need. Additionally, you need to figure out how high you want to hang your curtain rod. Most people will recommend that you go somewhere around one half or two thirds the distance between the top of your window or your window trim and your ceiling. You don't want to go too far beyond that. If you have a ceiling that's well above that, you don't want to go all the way to the ceiling. So really it's a judgment call on your part as to how far you want to hang it above the top of your window. Once you have all of that figured out, you can start to mark your wall for your hardware. First, go the distance beyond the edge of your window or your window trim and make a quick small mark on your wall. Now you want to go up above to wherever you've determined how high you're going to hang it and make another mark on the wall. Now, this is where you're going to be putting your hardware. You wanna make sure that it's level. So if you have a very wide window, you can use a level and manually move across the top, making marks as you go so that you know it's level. You can also just measure from floor to ceiling and see if that works out for you. I'm cheating a little bit and using a laser level to make my life easier here. The point is, you want your curtain rod to be level. However you can best figure that out, go for it. Once you have that nailed down, just make your marks in the proper spot on your level point, on the right side of the window, on the left side of the window, and if your window is wide enough, you also need to do it in the middle of your window. Otherwise, your curtain rod is going to bow in the middle and you're gonna have weird looking curtains. That's not gonna be good. You want this rod to be level. For your hardware installation, and for us, today I'm actually using these brackets from Ikea. They're not super expensive. They're not the best looking brackets on the face of the earth, but we were trying to go a little bit budget conscious on this one, and we were able to get this done really inexpensively using all Ikea rod, curtains, and brackets. I like to use a smaller level that helps me keep that bracket level when I'm putting it up against my mark on the ceiling. Just as I make my marks at the top and the bottom, it helps me ensure that my bracket is not you know, crooked, which could then cause my curtains to be crooked and take my leveling process completely out of play. I'm using wall anchors because the parts where I'm hanging are straight in the drywall. There's no stud behind it. To get my drywall anchors started, I actually use the tip of my Phillips head drill bit just to make a little dimple in the drywall. That helps the end of the drywall anchor get started. If you'd like to know a little bit more about drywall anchors, you can click the card at the top of the screen. Once you get the drywall anchors in, you can put the hardware in. Just simply take the hardware, put it up against your drywall anchors, take your screwdriver or your drill, and screw the screw into the drywall anchor. You kind of get the drill. <laughs> I actually didn't even mean to make a joke about that. That was terrible. Anyway, <laughs> once you get the right side in, move to the left side and repeat it. Make your mark, use your level to make sure it's level, make your pencil marks inside, and then put your drywall anchors in. Just put the dimples in the wall, put your drywall anchors in those exact dimple spots, get your bracket back up there. Sometimes I like to use my level again just to make sure because there's a little bit of play in those screws that when I put it in, it is absolutely level. But then put your screws in, and then for this one it has that plastic cover that you put on top of it to finish it off, to give it a little bit of a nicer looking look. It's not the greatest, but it's also not terrible. Then if your window is wide enough, do your one in the middle. So insert your bracket, same process on the other two. Now that you have all of your hardware in the wall, you can hang your curtains. Double check to make sure everything is level in the way that you want it to be. If you have to make any adjustments, you certainly can, but now you're done and you can enjoy your curtains on the wall. One cautionary tip, you might be tempted to put your hardware directly into your window trim Please do not do that. I've seen someone do it, it looks terrible, and it ruins your window trim. Just stick to the outside of your windows. 
While you're here, you can check out one of these videos. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself.